Yes, Nikki, that's back again tonight. Tonight we're back with Debian 6.0.5. Yeah, it came out a few days ago. Yes, yeah, Debian, stable, doing a stable thing. It works and will keep working. Won't go bang. Lovely. Now, this is the XFC version. As you can see, I've got rid of the default wallpaper, the, the starry thing, children's playground one, and just put naughty mouse. No, he's a naughty mouse because he's red. Okay. As it's SFCE, you get home file waste basket. Waste basket? Yes, it's a waste basket. And down here we get a door to get out. Time, stuff, high windows and stuff. I get four panels to the standard here. My Ethernet connection. I get my browser of choice, which I'm going to open for you straight away, which would be Ice Weasel. Now, as you know, Debian is free, 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 free. So they're a bit tight on their stuff when it comes to doing non-free stuff. So if you want to do, say, play DVDs, you're going to have to do some work, okay? But it's all listed out there on the internet or intranet, whatever we call it. It's all out there. It's easy to do. It's just a couple of types in the terminal, and all will be well. So hunky-dory. So anyway, we're in a Debian Universal Operating System site here. So it's www.debian.org. Right, as you know, it's available for nearly every bit of hardware out there. So not just for me on, on my uh, X868, whatever it is, or my 64-bit. It's also available for Mac stuff. It's also available for tablets. It's also available for stuff that we wouldn't dream of using or where to get from. It's okay. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. So if I want to get some, say, a network install, just click on network install. You can just decide what you want to download. So, you know, so we've got AMD64, ARM, K3BSD, i386, a 64, a MIPS. Is that what Richard Stallman uses? Yeah, he's a MIPS man, isn't he? He's a MIPS. Power PC, Spark, and MIPS Cell. They are all here for you to use. Now, the reason why Debian lags behind, normally in stuff from Ubuntu and places like that, is where Ubuntu uses a six month release cycle. Debian has a six month freeze cycle just to make sure all the software works for you when you're using your distro, which if you want a nice stable distro is going to be the right way to go with it. If you're only using it for like basic stuff, you know, like doing the internet, doing a bit of podcasting, putting your music on, it's going to be ideal isn't it? when you think about it. Okay, menu, da -da 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 -da. terminal, file manager, web browser, or run program. You get the XFCE file settings, so you get accessibility, appearance, desktop. I could go through them all, but I'm not going to. But it's all basic FCE. Yeah, XFCE. So I'm going to the settings manager. See, it's all here. Now it's not the most current one, and it's not the brand brand new one, but it works. Okay, this is the main thing about Debian. It's stable and it works. So if I go to about XFCE. Bearing in mind, you can get GNOME, KDE, XFCE, LXDE, and whatever you want to. As you can see, XFCE 4, but it's 4.6.2, so it's not even 4.8 yet. But that's because that would be the next version. They will make sure it don't crash on you. So you ain't got to go and reinstall stuff and places like that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, this is just the base one. I've not actually installed it. I don't think I've actually installed anything on here at the moment. So I'm just going to go through it with you. Accessories. You still get quite a lot here for your basic one CD. So you get mouse pad, root terminal, terminal, Thunar has there as well. Under graphics, you do get Gimpage, OpenOffice Draw, because you get the full OpenOffice suite and Restrato and Xane for your scanning. So we'll go to Gimpy. That's 2.6, and now what one going to be? I've never run this before, so it's going to be a bit like this for the first time. I'll have a bit of drinkage while it's doing it. Hang on a bit. It's a dual core machine, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Nearly done. And broken. Looks alright to me. Gimpy will do what it says on the tin. Bear it in mind if you go to Synaptic, it will get all the extras for you to use your digital cameras and stuff like that. And doing videos, etc. Including open shot, etc. 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 Multimedia. You get your mixer. Brazero, default, by the way. Another mixer. Quite a little bit dead. I'm not even going to open that. VLC. Now, VLC will normally play anything out of the box, but you might have to get the G Streamer stuff to play your DVDs. Okay? Yeah. Winky, winky. You know what I'm saying? 
or other stuff. And XF Burn for doing this now. Okay. Network, we get ice for our browser and wicked, wicked jungle is massive for our network manager. So it would su will support most of your wireless devices, but if not, you can get them to work if you really want to use Debian. And it's not really hard. It's only going to take an hour or so to get everything all done how you want it to do. Now it comes with a full open office suite, not LibreOffice suite. I think LibreOffice will be in the next one, but it's all there for you to use. So if I open, open Office Writer, because we're doing some writing. It's not as sprightly as the XFC version, sorry, LXT version, is it? Maybe it's just open office. You know what I'm saying? Because it's getting quite old now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Good to help about open office org. It's 3.2.1. Okay, so it's really old. Really, isn't it? But it will do what it says on the tin, and you'll be able to do all your office stuff. So no big deal. Okay. And the system will get a bulk rename. My stuff for me, HP printers and stuff. HTOP, which I actually installed. Okay. Yeah, I installed that. And I had to install Synaptic Package Manager as well. It weren't there on the tin. No, I had to do that. <sighs> I don't know. Yeah, but it's there now. But it's just easier for you to install stuff. Most of you purists will just want to use the command line to install stuff, but other people want something to help them along the way, so Synaptic's the best way for them, I think, personally. So we're going to open HTOP up and see what we're using. Okay, we've got a little settle down. We're using 92 mega RAM. A little bit earlier when I first started it, we were using about 68. So that's no big deal. The CPU's not doing nothing at all, as you can see. Lovely, like it, super duper. Right. Okay, that's all about I can show you really because you have to install this stuff yourself. Okay, bearing in mind you can have whatever one you want. Now, if you want a real stable distro and you want Debian and you want Linux, go full Debian and be really happy. If you're a distro hopper and want cutting edge stuff, Debian is not the one for you. Do you know what I'm saying? And you'll know that anyway. But if you want stable, stable, and we'll just push the button every day, it will come on. You do your stuff, turn it off, and it will keep coming on every day for God knows how long. Just go and get Debian Pure. Sneaky Linux out. I see you later.